All right. Nashville's number one for all the hits. It's Hot 106.7. You're on air with Aaron, joined by the incredible Fly by Midnight. Hello. Hello. Justin and Slavo in the studio with us. How are you? Good. Thank you for having us. Doing well, yeah. Very, very full circle because it's been almost exactly a year ago to the day. We're talking last year on May 6th, you played your first show ever in Nashville. Yeah. It was sold out. Yeah. And now April 7th, today's the 7th, yes, I think. I, I believe yes, so. Yes, today's April 7th. Yeah, no, no concept. <laughs> for for no, that, yeah. no concept of date and time lately. But like, yeah, Non-tour, yeah. I can imagine That's not. 100%. I could have told you it was March, so yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> and, and now you're back and you're going to play The End tonight, which is literally one of my favorite venues in this whole city. Oh, no it's way. so cool. We're happy to hear that. Yeah, it's it's so crazy thinking about how much time has flown by and like we've all we've all sort of grown together in that time. It, it's really really cool. We're very grateful to be here. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, I was little baby Aaron on the radio. I'd only been <laughs> yeah. here like maybe 4 or 5 months. Wow. Um I didn't have my now I'm weeknight, so I was still weekends when you guys were here last. So we've all yeah. just grown so much yeah. and uh, you had just started or were about to embark on your current era that yeah, you're on, yes. and now yeah. you're touring the album that you hadn't even released yet. How's the era been going, guys? It's been going well, yeah. I think the last time we were here, we spoke about the whole the guy liner thing. That was like so our, the thing we were doing on tour. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we, uh, we've we stayed true to that. We're still doing it on this tour. It's a little annoying on the bus to try to take it off every night, so kudos <laughs> yep. to you. Kudos to all the ladies and guys out there who do it. I can't do it all 100%. the time. But. but no, it is really cool because I feel like, was that, had we released lightning in a bottle? No, we Not hadn't yet. yet. Oh, it was before that one. Right yeah. before. Yeah, so I, I think for us, we were, it's so funny because our manager calls us a uh, flyby, like the, what does he say, flyby, the, the seat of our ass or something like seat that? Seat of our plane. Seat of our plane. Um, but uh, yeah, we were we, we wrote this album while we were releasing it. So it was, it was never like we hunkered down for a month and wrote the whole thing. So this whole past year has been writing, releasing, writing, releasing. But it sort of kept the album really exciting and fresh for us. We feel like we just created it which is really cool. Um, yeah. It's been amazing. This tour has been amazing so far. Mm-hmm. It's really, um, we didn't know what to expect from our first proper headlining tour. Yeah. And uh, every show is is getting better. Tickets are getting better. And uh, we're, I mean, we're able to do this for a living. How cool is this? It's really, it's, it's amazing. Yes. So cir- circling back to the, the guy liner portion of yeah. this era, I'm so glad you brought this up because I needed to know how many sticks or are using gel or using liquid, how much eyeliner have you used it's, since as, this <laughs> era started? Not a lot, to, to be honest. Oh, it's, okay. it's a very simple process, though. We told the person who did it originally, like, how can we make this the most foolproof for us so we don't look like we don't know what we're doing? And we still haven't perfected it, I'm sure. Yeah, absolutely not. But yeah. uh, no, we have like this little stick of, you probably know what it is. It's got like a little cap and it's kind of like pasty. It's like, but it's we like, do a, it like oh, on it's the like actual a gel pan- pencil. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that goes on the, the, the spot that's really uncomfortable. The water, the water line. line. The, the water, water line. line. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, we, we've got pretty good at it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then after that, we just do a little bit of the, the shadow underneath. And that's it. And we rub honestly, it around a little bit. Do you blend bit. it out? Yeah, with yeah, exactly. You guys are pros. But we literally, we have a very, we never released this video, but we have a video of her giving us the tutorial to mm-hmm. do it. Mm-hmm. And we were like, wait, you put this on your eye line? And we're like both crying while she's yeah, my like. my eyes are all watery. In. But we've come a long way. And we've stayed true to it. Um, yes, yeah, the yeah. commitment. Yeah. It's our Batman look. Yeah. We, we were talking about the, the bumpy bus you guys are, are mm-hmm. currently using. Are you like on the bus, like trying not to poke yourself in the eye doing it ever? Or? Fortunately, there's been <laughs> green rooms at these venues. Uh, we The last show we did do it on the bus, but the bus is not in motion. So we're going to try to avoid that. I think that'd be a hilarious TikTok to just, like, you know, just us getting makeup. It's, just, it's just literally it's like all over our face. Other than that, yeah, no. No, but it's an uh, it's been good. I think taking it off at the end of the night on the mm. bus is is best funny feeling. Part. Yeah, because this bus is definitely a little rocky. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's all part of the tour life, and we're we're grateful to be on it. Yeah. Now this era for the the fictional illustrations album, which just came out, so so incredible. I I've drawn some some parallels. I as someone who's not an artist, I get all excited. I'm like, oh, I'm seeing these these different messages. So you have fictional illustrations as the album title. It's the Paint Your Feelings tour, and then you have your music video for Infinitely, Infinitely Falling, where it's very dance and movement heavy, which mm-hmm. is, you know, painting, in essence, illustrating with movement. Sure. Where did this concept of 
art in that way, illustration, paint. I'm seeing all those parallels. Was that intentional? Uh, yes. For sure. Okay. Y- yeah, yeah. So uh, what's exciting about this era and what we're excited to talk about around this whole album is we call it fictional illustrations because we, number one, we, we do write from a real place. But mm-hmm. in reality, I feel like songwriters and artists don't talk about this a lot. But, you know, sometimes songs may come begin from a real place but over time they become a elaborate work of fiction and exaggeration Mm -hmm. and and we sort of instead of shying away from that because it's sort of a mom topic in the songwriter community everyone wants to be like you know this really happened to me verbatim the details like very true to me yeah Mm -hmm. Salevo and i sort of pride ourselves on being fictional writers like like an author or like a, a painter that comes up with an idea so um when we were coming up with the concept for the album, you know, we're very grateful to be in very happy relationships. Slave was married. I'm engaged. And, Yay. um, but we didn't want to be confined to only our story. We didn't want to just write a whole album of how happy we are. So I feel like from removing those constraints, fictional illustrations became an album where we could come in and say, Hey, today I want to write a song called nothing new. That reminds me of five years ago. I was, you know, upset about something or, clear you know i'm feeling romantic today i want there were there were no rules for it Mm -hmm. and um and then i think that also ties into paint your feelings right yeah i mean uh paint your feelings the reason we wanted to call that was one we just weren't prepared for the tour yet to be completely honest uh the way we are being we're all uh, in the diy yeah we kind of get as much done as we can till the very last second and then we shift gears so that was the case for this album we finished it we finished that song different lives which was the last song on the album and then we went okay we have a month to to get ready for tour we're going to shift towards that and Paint Your Feelings is one of those things where like, we're not prepared to call the tour fictional illustrations. All the songs that we're playing aren't going to just be from the album. Right. So we could come up with a way to, to you know, be more creative but still tie it in together. And Paint Your Feelings is one of those things that just kind of came up and Beautiful. worked. It's cool, though, too, because when we walk into the venue, um, the fans will see that we have like near our merch setup a little canvas with an easel, which is actually in the artwork. And they can come in. We're encouraging them to paint like, however they feel and no pun intended or we bring, very intended. I don't we know. We bring it on stage with yeah. us. Yeah, we bring it on stage with us every night. And it's like we they're sort of a part of the experience. Mm-hmm. And so it's, it's yeah, it's grown into something really cool. And touching on the video, I mean, the Infinitely Falling video is a whole nother. We've never done anything like that. Mm. It was filmed in the Ukraine, um, which was like Slavo and I for the first time bringing on collaborators. I really we, like we direct all of our videos. It's the first time we brought on another director and another creative vision. And um. Yeah, I, I just we're just very, very grateful how all the pieces have sort of fallen for this record. But it is I think it's about embracing that we're artists. But, you know, we, we could be fictional writers. We could mm-hmm. be those those authors and step outside of that, which is exciting. It's really important that you own that as well. Everything you just said resonated so deeply with me because in Nashville, there, there's definitely this, you know, oh, everything we do has to be 100 uh, percent authentic and everything, you know, has to just, it, like you said, every detail has to be real. Yeah. And so when it, <laughs> when it comes down to it, when you're able to own the fact that, no, you can embellish, like it can still be a meaningful story and, you know, still there can still be truth in it. Yeah, yeah. That's, exactly, yeah. It, that's exactly it. And I feel like we, we when we were uh, talking about this at the VIP the other day, we were saying... Uh, like, you know, Taylor Swift drops an amazing song and everyone's like, who's it about? Who's it this? And really digging their nails in it. But sometimes I think she has a right to maybe watch a movie and be inspired by that yeah. movie. And uh, and I think that's another thing. We love all sorts of media and being inspired. And I think this album is that. Like, really, mm-hmm. that's why there's some genre shifts and we go from stuff that feels a bit folkier to, yeah. you know, you know, really synth driven because we just sort of felt like it. There's no rules as an independent artist. And we and we love embracing that side. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For instance, I mean, you, you mentioned nothing new already. I mean, that's that's like my go to run song now. So, so fun. Yeah. So upbeat. And then you have other songs. Um, I pointed out that clear feels like a campfire. You know, it's kind of more like a fall vibe. At least that's how I interpret it. We and, wrote that in Nashville. Yeah. Oh, no way. We did. Funny enough, yeah. too. You talk about like, you know, radio stations, DSPs, plays, playlists and stuff. And for us, we consider ourselves like an alternative indie pop band Mm -hmm. and that song was put on like some country playlist breakout country for us it's like that's kind of what we strive for we want to be eclectic we want to make sure that we're kind of genre boundless and that song achieved that funny enough and i want to let you continue what you're going to say but we wrote i think three songs in nashville in one week that are on the album oh my gosh which ones so clear 
Clear, it was... What if I wasn't done loving you? What if, and then sometimes. Oh my gosh. All was, in one week. Yeah. Was that when you were here last time? Or was, was it before We had a that? trip right before we oh, did okay. the tour with Teddy, which yeah. I don't know if we must have... I think in. that's when you were here. I think oh, it was, yeah. 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 So maybe, maybe it was then. Yeah. That's like one week so around that crazy. Time. That crazy? Yeah, we're so grateful we did that too because we were, especially writing sometimes, that was the end of the week and I was burnt. But yeah, um, but it was, we got three of our favorite songs from it. There's so many things that I want to touch on. So I'll, I'll try to like cohesively yeah. Yeah, sorry, go in order. We're, we're pulling no, you all over the no, place. No, no, no. That's, yeah, that's yeah. what I love about it. Yeah. So going back to the Infinitely Falling music video, I shoot music videos for artists here in my spare time. So I'm oh, like nice. a big love video awesome. nerd and I love talking to artists about their, their yeah. visuals. You, the fact that you did shoot it in the Ukraine is such a powerful statement and just thing to do. But I know you also said there were a lot of long-winded revisions that went into it. So is that because of the decision to do it there that you kept getting set back by certain things? Or, or how did the decision to do it play into the final product? And then how did you reach the final product? That's a great question. I think um, the revision portion actually was probably in pre-production more purely because... Number one, when we connected with these directors, uh, Aliona and Danny, phenomenal directors, but we have no comprehension of what's going on over there. So mm-hmm. we had moments where we're deep in conversation and they said, you know, oh, the power is going to cut out in our neighborhood because they're doing that right now. And, you know, it's technically outside of a bombing zone. They're like amidst a current war zone and their, their level, their demeanor and calmness about it is so um, inspiring. Um, but with that being said, I think... The handing off the reins to another production team in another country to shoot a video yeah. was very stressful for us. And it was a learning process of us giving our input, but then sort of saying, you know, like, I think we have to shut up and let them sort of, we, we brought them on for a reason. Um, but, but I think there, it, there was also a little bit of language barrier. There was, a, mm. there was some, right. I mean, there were definitely a little sure. bit of struggle busting along the way, but, uh, but the truth was we, we gave them, creative freedom to interpret it and aliona sent us a beautiful message she said like how crazy is this you send us a song and we see what we see and we we send it back to you and it was like this like we've never done that before Mm -hmm. um and and it just came together amazingly we were part of the casting process as well and um and like the cast was amazing the full ukrainian ballet company was in it like it was it was just like wow sort of a fever dream right Mm -hmm. yeah that's uh, wow. I mean, the it, it speaks to s- something you said when you were here last time that I adore is that you guys have you, you said this, Levo, that you have thrived on collaboration, that you've grown and gotten to where you are because of collaboration. That is probably the prime example, literally going to another country, using people from another country to direct it, a Ukrainian ballet, the Ukrainian ballet company. Insane. That's so cool, guys. Well, the irony, too, is like this whole phase of this album, we kind of wanted to put out singles more frequently and to do that we kind of had less time to work on other creative things and the video component was something that's really important to us but we didn't want to put too much emphasis on it this time around so the videos that are all for the other singles are all a lot more simple they're like us with uh, another dp yeah and we shot it for like two or three hours so it's kind of crazy that this whole album cycle has been that style of video and some do better than others just i think because of the song itself but then this last one we kind of put all our eggs in that basket. We're like, let's just do this. Let's kind of, you know, change it up a little bit for this last one. I think it turned out amazing. And I think it, it did. When thank you. And I think when Slave and I were having this discussion, we were like, how we constantly strive to make ourselves feel uncomfortable in our process. What's something we haven't done before? What's something that may not work? Yeah. And uh, and I think this on every level, like surrendering the directorial ownership over, Jeez. as well as trying. Like us not being in the video. That was a whole other thing, too. Yeah. I, <laughs> I, we're, we're on the call with them, and I'm like, they're like, unless you would fly to the Ukraine, and, and I'm like, I'll, you know, jump out of a helicopter. Not saying you wouldn't, but I think you're a bit more rational no, than I, I am. I definitely wouldn't. No. Yeah, yeah. And I was no. like, well, we'll talk I'll about stay in the helicopter. I was like, well, we'll talk about <laughs> flying to the Ukraine, and I see Salevo's face. Like, I'm like, all right, maybe we're not going well, to Well, I'm just Ukraine. trying to figure out how to explain to my wife that I'm about to, like, go to a war zone. Yeah. But, <laughs> but yeah. They, were, they were awesome. They, they made the whole process uh, as smooth as they possibly could. And, yeah, we're grateful for them. So, yeah. Well, the, the final thing I, I want to touch on is something that always resonates so clearly with you guys, and that is your connection to your fans. As yeah. someone who, I mean, I'm just a massive professional music fan. I'm so proud to be that. I'm so glad that this gets to be my job. And even when you said, you know, tonight you're going to have the canvas where your fans can participate and quite literally be a part of your show. Yeah. You, you said last time you were here that you try to meet everybody after your shows. 
that is so, so, so important. And that's what's going to take you guys so far. So just on behalf of all of your fans, I'm sure thank you every day. Thank you for just being that and doing that for them because yeah. they're they're who's Thank putting you. you on stage right so yeah, of course that's and, and, awesome. and we never we never lose sight of that every every day it's so crazy to think that we started this in a in a small studio in staten island new york and we get to do this and and honestly make a living doing what we're doing and and like growing together as brothers and our and our families are growing and it's just oh it's just really cool and it, it is all it all comes back to the fans you know because it's a one-to-one they stream the music they come to the show. They buy the merch. I mean, it's yeah. it is it is um, it's so rewarding, and we we haven't lost sight of that. So, mm-hmm. yay! Yeah. Is there anything else you guys want to tell us about or or whatever before you you head off to to sound check for your show? Um, this is our first headlining tour, and not to brag, but we already sold out. I think like three or four shows, which for us we're super excited about. San Francisco so thank today, you. right? I San just Francisco saw that. today. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're out there and you bought tickets, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, just back to the fans. We appreciate all the love and support. And the fact that that's happening is so cool. This is our first ever headlining run. And yeah, and frankly, crazy. we had no idea what to expect. Uh, we, we, we sort of said we wanted to do the thing and see how it was going to be received. And um, we're excited to play Nashville tonight. Nashville has been... Yeehaw, baby. Yeah, Nash- Yeehaw, Nashville baby. has been super integral to this album. I mean, those three songs were, were some of the biggest ones on the record so far. So very grateful and very grateful for you guys too for yeah, for, having for, for having us and, and always being so supportive it means a lot of course yeah. fly by midnight thank you so much for hanging out love you thank, thank you thank you guys